so I just got in the car and I'm heading to go get the babies from school I am so excited y'all oh my god I just got my engagement my engagement ring in the mail I am like thrilled like super super thrilled Jesus man so let me tell you guys so when Trump proposed to me he got me a ring that was a little bit big you know I'm small I have small hands small size hands so he got me a size 7 and I wear a size 6 so I'm so excited oh my god I'm gonna show y'all guys the packet and try on a ring you know so what he did he got it resized while I was in um, you know the Carolinas but it didn't come back on time so I had to fly back out here to Colorado so yeah I'm just so excited my god you know I'm about to have my hands all on my face Every time y'all see me on social media, my hand's going to be showing off the ring. Y'all just don't know. See, I gave up on love. Um, I just gave up. I said, God, I don't want to do it no more. And when I least expected it, that's when God gave it to me. Amen. Because I got to the point in my life where, hey, I want God more than anything. God, I want you more than I want a husband. And when I begin to change my mindset, that's when love hit me. Bam. So God is good, right? God is good. Woo, y'all. So this is the packet. I'm getting ready to open it. I'm like thrilled, you know, opening my packet. Oh, I'm so thrilled. Y'all just, just don't know. My baby, he loves me, he supports me. You know, in everything I do, everything I do, he's always there. You know, that's exactly what I've always been praying for for you know somebody to support me and just to love me you know just who i am he's not jealous of the anointing on my life you know he has his own anointing y'all ready for this oh this is so beautiful y'all gorgeous absolutely gorgeous look at that bling 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 i'm gonna try it on my babe say he'll give me something bigger later but it's not about the size you know of the rock <laughs> and my, my man and guy ain't lustful at all y'all he sends me scriptures every day he prays over me and I remember one time I was in pain y'all and the pain left my body when he prayed for me So y'all, I am getting ready to try it on. Amen. I'm excited. Y'all, yeah, sorry, I'm trying to drive and do this. Beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. And it fits so beautiful, it's perfect. You know, it's perfect. And I gotta get my nails done too, since I got some bling on my hand. You know, so I'm just trying it on. Sorry, I gotta do it with one hand. Ah, but it is gorgeous it is gorgeous if it's good y'all so this is my bling my baby he loves me so you guys I just showed my man my ring right and he said my baby look good in that ring <laughs> and he said he found this good thing amen so that's awesome that's awesome God is good Amen. So, God is good. I'm so excited. Amen. We're both excited. We're both just mushy and cheesing and just giving God praise. <laughs> oh, God is good. I want to encourage you ladies to sign up for the Boaz Conferences ministry is doing. Because singleness is going to break off your life. Amen. And I don't preach nothing that I haven't experienced. I don't preach anything that I have not lived through. So, I'm a living witness of what God can do. How God can restore your life. Amen. So sign up, ladies. Ooh, it's going to be a move of God. It's going to be a prophetic movement. It's going to be powerful. Powerful. You got gum for your teacher? How was the first day of school? Horrible. How was it horrible? It took so long for me. 
I'm a whoopie boy. What about you, Ryan? School was good? Yep, because she has some gum in her mouth. Yeah, yeah that's no fair. How, how they get to be electronics, they don't. They get to have gum. No fair. It's not in good to compare school, yourself, son. In middle school, has video games. Middle school has video games? All the videos. Okay, so he thinks fair. middle school is so cool. Because his sister is about to go to middle school next year, so he's like, man, I want to go to middle school. You, you got you only in second grade. You got to go to third grade, fourth grade, fifth grade before you can even think about going to middle school. You ready to be 18? Yeah. Oh no, he said he's ready to be 18. You better enjoy childhood while you're young. I'm telling you because I still wish sometimes I was a child. Because when you're a grown-up, you got lots of responsibility. You know that, right? You got to worry about paying bills as a grown-up. You still so you ready to pay some bills? ready to have your own house? I still want to be eating. Okay. Are you ready to cook your own meals? I'm still ready to be eating. Okay, so I guess that's yes. Alright then, so when you get 18, you can't be saying, Mommy, you know, can I come live with you? Can you cook my bill? Um, can you pay my bills, Mommy? Can you cook all my food? I'm like, uh... I feel like a teenager or something. You ready to be a teenager? Yeah. Okay, just take your time, teenagers son. Totally cool. Teenagers are cool? Kids. Totally, yeah. totally cool. Yeah. That's what I thought too. You know, take your time and grow up, son. Enjoy childhood, right, Raya? Enjoy childhood. So just let you know, you see this? My she, in the door. She's about taller than me. And he's going both of them kids are gonna be taller than me. I like doing So I'm sitting up up here <clears throat> and I'm just drinking. You know, a cup of butternut squash soup. It has a great flavor, great aroma. And I'm thinking I'm going to get back into prayer. So I'm going to end this. Deuces.